ideas. Uh, it's time for another haul video. It's an op shop haul or thrift haul. Um, if you hear any noise, it's just my little bird who's sitting at the end of the table. Um, okay, so I've been around a few different op shops on the same day, so I thought I'd put these all into one big haul. So, where should we start? Um, start with these plates, I guess. So I found a few really cute plates. Uh, this one's $2. It looks like it's once been part of one of those tiered cake stands that um, people make out of old plates. It's a shame they didn't have the whole cake stand because I'd really love one of those with it one day. But anyway, I liked this one. So I got it. Anyway, maybe I'll put it in a cake stand again one day. Um, this one was $8. <laughs> it's not really... Um, I don't know. <laughs> Not really quite my aesthetic, but it's so cute, I had to get it. <laughs> and there's this one. Oh, I really love this one. Look how beautiful vintage cottage core kind of aesthetic that has. Um, if you know me, you love I know I love cottage core and steampunk and lots of different aesthetics, but this is just gorgeous. I love it. And I love uh, I love a single plate. I love collecting single plates. Um Okay, so DVDs now, I guess. I found uh, season one of Sanctuary. Uh, this was one of my favourite TV series at the time it was out. It's uh, about scientists who work to save uh, sort of mythical creatures, cryptid kind of creatures. Um, I have seen the whole thing, but this was the first series of that I found. Uh, the other one I really loved at the time was Warehouse 13, about people finding and collecting cursed objects, and I have some DVDs of that. Um, in my collection too. Yeah, this is Heavenly Creatures. I've actually never seen this. It had a very young Kate Winslet and it's based on a true story uh, in 1950s New Zealand where um, two girls killed their parents so that they could be together. Um, never seen it before so it's about time I probably saw that. Um, then a copy of The Artist which was a black and white film that was sort of about the end of the silent era and the beginning of the talkies era. And uh, I really enjoyed watching this one so much. They're plain bad herons. Um, I'll just, I've been wanting to read this one. Uh, I'm really lucky to find it so cheap at the op shop. I'll just read you uh, the blurb. 1902 Brookhant School for Girls. Students Flo and Clara are madly in love with each other as well as completely obsessed with the story of Mary McLean, the scandalous debut memoir by 19-year-old McLean. A few months later, they are found dead in the woods after a horrific wasp attack, the book lying next to their intertwined bodies. Within five years, the school is closed, but not before three more people die on the property, each in a troubling way. Over a hundred years later, Brookhant opens its doors once more to a crew of young actresses to arrive to film a high-profile movie about the rumoured Brookhans curse. As past and present become grimly entangled, it's soon impossible to tell where the curse leaves off and Hollywood begins. Uh, sorry about all the noises. Um, my dog is scampering around. Um, my bird keeps tweeting. Um, <laughs> I hope these don't come out on the final recording too badly. Okay, so then we have this pile of uh, blankets, and this is actually... Um, planning on doing uh, Our Flag Men's Death cosplay with a friend and I'm planning to make some of this into a waistcoat. And then we have some interesting decor. So we have this, I think it's metal, it feels like metal, this metal box, which is really cute. Anyone who loves me knows I love boxes. And then this very large artificial egg. I'm not really sure what that's made of. Possibly some kind of ceramic. And um, has really nice uh, scroll work and bird paint on it. I'm not sure what my bird thinks of, of that. <laughs> Possibly a little bit offended. And then I found this old um, corset top. Now it's just a cheap mass manufactured type corset top with plastic boning. But it's pretty cool. And oh. Uh, so hard to, at the moment, get a decent waistcoat or waistcoat looking top that isn't, doesn't cost the world. I don't know why, because they're so trendy right now. But anyway, I don't want it because it's trendy. I just, I used to wear a lot of tops like this in the past and I thought it would be good to have one around for some steampunk outfit or something. Um, then I found this lovely skirt. 
It's kind of a sari type material. Um, it's a label, it's a it says Beth's. It's a wrap skirt. It's got all these lovely tears. It might also be great for a steampunk cut outfit or just any outfit. And then, um, last of all, I have this skirt, this gorgeous red poppy design. Uh, this one is from Cybershop. And this one's a tiny bit too big. Now, I don't agree with people buying things that are tons too big and cutting them down because then um, people with larger sizes then lose that clothing, they can't wear it anymore. But for me, this is just a tiny bit too big in the waist. And what I do when it is, I actually just take it in a little at the side by folding it so that it doesn't get damaged and it can be taken out again in the future if I don't want it anymore or if I gain weight. So you just like fold that over on the inside like that. Sew a little line of stitching in about size two or three so it's easy to unpick along there and take it a little bit in there and that will just taper the waist in that tiny bit that you need so that it fits right. So um, that was my op shop slash thrift haul and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye dears!